Registration is now open for the live online 90 minutes that sang on the 28th of July 2024, which I will be co-hosting again with the amazing Shelley Remo. Together we provide life and business coaching and Shelley channels messages from your spirit guides. My Isla Wellness Academy fall semester courses start on the 30th of July. I run various courses covering psychic, personal and business development skills. All details are on my website and links are in the description box below this video. Hey Pisces, how are you doing today? I hope everything is going brilliantly in your world. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. If you're new, you're incredibly welcome. If you're returning, it's amazing to have you back. So we have had a very big succession of change messages coming through over the last few days. So are we going to settle down for the rest of the week or is things going to continue to, are things, not is things, are things going to continue to develop substantially? So we have got be a light to others. You have a powerful message to share. Shine your light on the world so that others can learn from you. OK, that really follows on from the starseed energy yesterday. And welcome abundance into your life. Prosperity is on its way to you. Woo <laughs> Have faith that source will heal your financial challenges. I bet that's very welcome for many of you. OK, I am very happy to see that for you all. So let us get some extra energies coming out. Being a light to others will definitely attract energy of abundance towards you. Hierarchy, pink um, heart-centered energy around relationships. So establishing your, your place in your relationships and nature. Lovely purple energy, working with the energy of nature. Okay, where are we going to go next? Arrow. All right, I'm going to get the... I did it that way around. Central energy. One of those. What is the main theme of this message? I'm going to get a couple of charms as well. Okay, lovely. Okay, so we have got a root chakra energy but with lots of hearts so heart and opening up grounding into reality things that you absolutely love and oh goodness we've got an octopus wow i don't think this charm has ever come out before so octopuses are incredibly intelligent they are very adaptable they solve problems they're very flexible they can fit into any environment well, not in, in water, but in, sorry, out of water, but in their, in their natural environment in water, they can blend in, they can squeeze into gaps, they can be who they want to be in their environment, almost. Um, the flexibility and their capability is enormous. They understand who they are in the, and where they are in their place in life. Okay, central energy for this message, right in the middle here. For those of you who are new to this spread, this is a spread that I have created. Um, central energy, which is what I'm picking up from you, and the energy that are, is around that is here at a material level or a physical level, an emotional level, and a spiritual level. And this is your ego, and this is your intuition or your soul. Okay, so bringing together all the elements of your subtle energy system. Seven of coins. Patience around finances, finances, growth. Your finances are growing. Okay, your finances are growing. Your patience is being rewarded. At a material level, we have got the fool and we have got the hanged man. At an emotional level, we have got the emperor, my goodness. And we have got the ten of swords. And at a spiritual level, we have got the page of wands and we have got the eight of cups. Pisces, this is a real, um, I want to use the word celebration, but it's not quite, quite the right word. This is a real affirmation, a real confirmation, a real underscore of congratulations from the universe about your decision to choose the road less traveled, to honor your desire to follow the spiritual path, the path that suited you, and to walk away from things that didn't serve you, to take massive leaps of faith, to leap into the unknown on the physical level, to go and do things differently, to go and do the 
do the work in the world that other people find weird or they find challenging or they haven't yet adopted to be a trailblazer. You have chosen to be a trailblazer. It's taken a huge amount of patience. It's meant that you've had to really tune in to understand your energy, to understand that that who you were, who your ego was. Was your ego someone that you wanted to be around? Was your ego finding the right path for you? Were you happy with what you were doing? Were you engaged? Were you able to be creative? You had control over your emotions, but were you carrying around emotions that didn't belong to you? Did you Have you felt stuck? All of these things you've been contemplating and you have been doing the work. You've been walking away from what didn't serve you and walking towards your spiritual destiny. You've been letting go of emotions of feeling worried, feeling disappointed, feeling sadness, feeling pain, feeling the sorrow of not being able to fit into a life that actually wasn't big enough for you. You had to expand. You had to grow yourself outside of the constructs of normal life. You had this decision to be a light to other people. You wanted to fit into the hierarchy of family. You wanted to fit into the hierarchy of uh, work situations. You wanted to please. You wanted to do the right thing by everybody. But nature, your true destiny was calling you. And your true destiny is to be a light to other people, to show the world that life is not there just to be lived for other people. Life is there to be enjoyed, to be celebrated, to be fun, to be happy, to be creative. You've done the you've done the work and you've restructured the hierarchy, you've grounded into reality here. Um, what it is that you want and how to put people into their place in your life and how to be adaptable. You are the intelligent one, Pisces. You are the one who has chosen the path that's traveled and your patience in doing so is about to be rewarded. Oceans and waves, big waves of change are coming in. Big waves of abundance and stars and navigation. Yeah, you've chosen to be a star seed. You have chosen to navigate your life by the energy of nature, the energy of the universe. And the light's coming and going in here. So I'm just allowing um, <laughs> allowing the light to fade and then adjust. When I put this dark um, uh, top on, things just start to glow in different ways. It's amazing how the light responds. And that is it. The light is responding to you. Energy is responding to you, Pisces. And it hasn't been easy. You have perhaps had to go backwards in finances to go forwards again, to re-deconstruct relationships in order to reconstruct them in a way where you have to, you have the ability to be yourself and you've overcome your fears of doing that. And you've become incredibly adaptable. You've become much more malleable. You've become much more able to to figure things out. Octopus is a huge problem solver. They they can navigate their way out of really, really complex mazes. And you've done that. You've navigated the maze of life. Wow, we've got these flying out. Rainbow blessings. Blessings are showering your life. Mystic healer, healing energy flows through you. And gates of triumph. Wow, success expands in your life. I actually think these three cards appear together in a different reading. Maybe the one with the lines in. I did shuffle them. I always do before they go back. And when they come out again, they get shuffled and split. Um, So there's a doubling down. Rainbow blessings. Rainbow blessings are very much um, my dog, old dog, Tober's sign. Tober, who taught me about animal communication. And then it led me into energy. My, his sign is a rainbow. Here he is blessing, blessing this energy, blessing this, blessing this reading. Because you've chosen to navigate your life by the gifts that nature has given you and not by the materiality and the construct that humans have decided that we should navigate our life by. You have chosen the path of healing. You've chosen to heal yourself and you have chosen to be a light to other people. So here we are, being a light to others as a mystic healer is going to welcome in abundance and look at the gold here. It's going to come in waves, waves of new abundance coming to you. Wow. Okay. Your patience has been paid off. The fact that you've taken this ownership of your life, you've taken ownership of the sadness, you've taken ownership of the sorrow, you've taken ownership of the loss and the conflict, and you have just said, no, I'm going to ground into reality what I want. 
because only you can do that, Pisces. You've got to understand that there is no one else in the old world that can change how you feel and how you think except yourself, okay? There's only you in there at the end of the day. Your thoughts are your thoughts. Other people might influence your thoughts, but your thoughts are your thoughts. Okay, so we have got waves of abundance coming in. Happy days. Okay. Let's get some more information. Increase your knowledge. Education brings opportunities. Take a course, pick up a book, or find a mentor to teach you what your soul longs to know. And we have got recognize the signs from above. Angels are sending you messages now, but you're too distracted to notice. Stay alert and be open to divine guidance. Okay. You're being led to do something. We've got a key here and we've got this squirrel again. My goodness. Okay, this is at least a second or third time squirrel. This particular charm has appeared twice in the last few days. So don't be too busy. Um, squirrels can be very, very, very busy um, storing up energy for, for the future and then they forget where they've hidden it. So keep looking up. Keep looking up. The keys, the signs and synchronicities are coming in here for you. Intimacy, evening star. And wisdom, night orchid. Okay, goodness. Right, wisdom again. Increase your knowledge and wisdom. Some people might be wanting to come to you for your knowledge. We have got Page of Cups, lovely more page energy. We have got the Ace of Cups, okay. We have got Strength. We've got the Seven of Swords. And we've got the Ace of Coins. Okay, new opportunities, an offer of love coming in here. Page of Cups, again, more offers of love. Someone who's very sensitive might be coming in. You might be wanting to... Here with the intimacy and the Ace of Cups, somebody might be wanting to get close to you. You might be wanting to get close to somebody else. Somebody could be summoning up the strength to come to you. They are a little bit worried about how you're going to receive them here with the Seven of Swords, um, but they want to move quite quickly. Somebody's seeking your wisdom. Somebody wants to increase their knowledge. Somebody has perhaps been guided towards you, Pisces or you're being a guiding light for other people. Desert and vision quest. And autumn, autumnal equinox and release. You know, release has come up now three or four days in a row as a key word, like releasing your judgment of yourself, releasing, releasing the concerns that you have particularly around say money but also here we do have offers coming in the ace of coins and the ace of cups there's new opportunities there's new joy arriving let's get some of these little little tarot cards what is this page of cups about eight of pentacles and the moon and we have got the devil and the Queen of Wands. I'm I'm getting this image of just a, a real a real um shifting in here with the moon in your your approach to life, your approach to work with the Eight of Pentacles, this vision quest. I feel like you have um and again, I'm just I'm just pulling in some of the previous readings over the last three or four days. So if you're brand new to the channel, we have been on a journey with this collective that has been really going back to February and coming out of hermit mode or starting to come out of hermit mode. So if some of you are in the hermit mode, this is sort of part of a transitional journey that's going on. But I do feel here with the vision quest and also there was an albatross, there was a there was an endurance that you have been and there's a desert that you've been through some very, very, very dry spells around money, around emotional fulfillment, amount, around joy, perhaps around intimacy with people, maybe even not with somebody, you might have not had much intimacy with somebody that you're already with, or you might have 
or even with friends you haven't been able to share with friends and in, in like the intimacy of like a conversation about how you know much work you've been doing on energy for example because other people might not have been able to get what you've done but you've gained so much wisdom and you've been on this quest for a long period of time that you're now really you're you're, you're ready to release that energy into the world you've got this strength you don't care about what people think anymore you're going out there you're creating opportunity you're creating opportunities for yourself you're creating opportunities for other people you might be creating courses to help people by increasing your knowledge like that when when we teach we learn at the same time so every time every time i teach something i also learn something whether that's from the feedback whether that's about solidifying the knowledge that i know so here education brings up opportunities the more that you seek to explore yourself the more that you seek the more that you learn if that makes sense so the more that you seek to teach as well the more that you learn even if that's just having conversations with friends you learn about what people are interested in you learn the boundaries that other people are creating and you'll find that a lot of people are very very interested in what you do and what you have to say pisces because the world is opening up to to the subtle energy world So what I'm getting here is you've been working hard on some kind of vision. You've been on a quest. It's been very dry at times, emotionally and financially, on a physical and emotional level. But spiritually, it's been very rewarding because you've tuned in to the truth of yourself. You found your intuition. You have started to really see the signs from above. And here you're freeing yourself from the ego trap of humanity. And with the Queen of Wands, you're moving yourself forward with real determination, real power, real creativity to do what you want, to release yourself from the from the binds of conforming. You're not conforming. An octopus doesn't conform. <laughs> an, octopus, an octopus solves the puzzle. The key here is non-conforming and sharing your wisdom. So you are really, really moving towards that. You're very divinely protected and you're protecting other people. You're protecting the energy of the universe actually here and limiting beliefs. Yeah, you're freeing yourself from your limiting beliefs and you're protecting nature from other people's limiting beliefs. You're protecting the universe from other people's limiting beliefs. And this is creating huge opportunities for you, Pisces. Lots and lots of things are coming your way. You might not see them right this very second, but the closer you get to your vision, the more intimate you get with your vision or the vision that you can paint of the world that you're happy to share your wisdom, releasing your wisdom into the world. The more you release your wisdom into the world, the more things are going to flow for you financially, emotionally and purpose. Just, just feeling like you're doing the right thing in the right way and having fun doing it here. Look, the page of... The page of cups here is coming outside the box, stepping outside the box. Pisces, you're ready to step outside the box. What's inside the box is boring. The way humans have created this world is so boring. Go to work, make money for somebody else, get told that you're not good enough. Go home, feel miserable, watch some TV, slump in front of the TV, have no time for creativity or adventure, get up and do it the next day. It's so boring. That's not how humans live. It's not how animals live. You know, it's time to wisen up and have fun. Stop the chase for stop the chase for materiality because there is an unlimited resource of money in this world. Money is made by humans. It's something we invented and it comes about by swapping things of value. So you have to value yourself and swap your wisdom or swap your ideas or so, swap the things that you have made. And that swap creates an IOU note because there's a timing difference because you don't necessarily have something that the other person wants and then you swap an IOU note which is a, a, a piece of money if you go and look at a dollar bill or a pound note or a euro or any other currency you'll see written on it I owe the bearer of this note you have to look at a note it's not on coins it's not on electronic money anymore but we've lost sight of what it is money is a legalized IOU note it, it covers the timing difference from something that we've created that is valuable. Okay, so value your creations and that will bring you money. Okay, so let me just check that we don't have nudity. I do on that one. So as I turn it over, oh, that's quite a lot. So let me just go carefully with that. All right, so this is La Natura. Okay, 
You will give birth to something new, something beautiful, an idea manifests. You are now at the beginning of a wondrous journey, blessed travels. Okay, beautiful. All right. This is very Empress energy as well. You are giving birth to, finally giving birth, I'd say, to what it is that you are ready to do. And we've got emotions. You know, I when I split the deck, I saw this card and it's very reminiscent of two days ago, three days ago when we had the, um, basically the sacred tree of life and we also had the releasing so very similar energy your words and emotions are powerful allies say exactly how you feel you're awash with truth safe in its blessed flow and we had truth yesterday the reason that you're so strong pisces is because you're so in tune with your feelings and this is pisces energy pisces feels pisces understands pisces energy of feeling so we think and we feel, and they actually happen through two different energetic systems in our body or nervous systems in our body. And our mind, the dominant left brain, cuts off the less dominant right brain because we're trained to use our left brain analytically through school. But that left brain stops through because we operate through our sympathetic nervous system. It stops our parasympathetic nervous system from flowing emotional feelings and messages from our gut up into our right brain and our left brain then has to interpret it so our left brain is not good at interpreting feelings it doesn't want to but when you let it you start tuning into your soul and you pisces have the best wiring in the entire human system energetic system that allows you to tune into your emotions your life will progress dramatically when you tune in and recognize your emotions and you allow them to be and exist in your life and you don't fear them and you give them a voice okay circadia you give them a voice you speak your truth you speak your truth about emotions and dolphin and listening yeah and you have to listen to them you have to learn to listen to your emotions you also if you want a really really good relationship with other people and you want to make money from helping other people you have to learn to deeply listen to what other people want not just what you think you want to give to them okay so it's a bit of a combination do things that you love doing and provide what it is that other people love okay we have got grounding go deep explore your roots less emotions going in deep wow okay watching clouds lie back rest and relax lovely I love that. Okay. I don't want that. I'm going to get another one of these energies. Okay, so we have abundance coming. I wonder if we can get anything more about that. The universe is basically saying, just keep tuning into your emotions, speak your truth, listen to what it is that your emotions and your soul are saying, listen to what it is that other people are needing that you can provide. Be very, very clear about what is your creative uh enjoyable place what do you love creating and um ground into reality the things of your dreams okay central energy now we have got a page of pentacles yeah more opportunities this is really a this is very much a um, message about money it is about things starting to flow from the hard work that you have put in to bringing your ideas to life okay we have got the hierophant we have got the ten of wands we have got the five of swords we've got the three of pentacles we've got the five of cups and we've got the two of cups okay hmm I'm going to get a couple more cards here because I think there might be somebody else with an intimacy in the La Natura and the fact that we've had somebody else showing up for the last day or two or three or four, actually. In fact, to be honest, somebody's second energy has been popping in and out of these readings for a couple of weeks. And for those of you who've been following this for a long period of time, we went for ages where there was very infrequently a second energy in your readings. Creation and sensuality yeah emotions and sensuality creation we've had um goddess of creation and create two three days ago creation is a really really big theme in this creation is a big theme in your energy at this point in time the same with the nature is giving birth to your creations okay so hierophant wisdom teaching this is the same energy here 
increase your knowledge, share your knowledge, seek somebody who you understand. This is a very much that energy. Interestingly, the Hierophant can also be about marriage. And here we've got the Two of Cups, which is a long-term soulmate partnership, deep, deep partnership, deep emotional partnership energy here. So some of you might be doing something with your husband or wife. Uh, some of you might be bumping into somebody who's going to be your husband and wife. They might be coming in with an offer for you. So take that if it resonates. Please leave it if it doesn't. Otherwise, what we've got going on in here is that your soul is really coming into alignment with the people who are meant to be in your life and you're grounding into reality. The structured learning, the the wisdom, the. Uh, the leadership as well. Around spiritual wisdom that really serves you, some of you could be joining community like soul tribe communities, some where you're getting a lot of wisdom. Somebody, some of you could, could be creating that where you're sharing a lot of wisdom and you're just helping a lot of people. You're helping a lot of people feel emotionally better about themselves because you're helping yourself to do that with these emotions and the sensuality of feeling your way through life. Okay. So what else have we got on going on in here? Your, your soul is, Quite challenge. Sorry, <laughs> I'm I'm pausing. It's quite challenging to read these other energies. I'm I was very happy to focus on these, but these th these are quite challenging energies, and I I feel this is representative of you knowing that life is challenging, knowing that you have to defend your ideas, you have to defend your emotions, but you're ready to do it. You're ready to engage with people who get you. With the three of pentacles here, you're re ready to cooperate and engage with people who understand what it is that you want to do and who get you and who are happy to collaborate but you're ready to fend off people who don't want to collaborate so where you're here with the page of pentacles very determined to to take your ideas to ground them to do things with them and then to actually create a life where you can relax as well as work You've been working to free yourself here with the dolphin. You've been working to free yourself as well as to as well as to find your purpose, something that you really, really love doing through creativity. But I think here you're really ready to defend what it is that you don't want. You're not going to carry around energy or people's burdens and expectations that don't suit you. Five of Cups, you've done your time being disappointed with what other people think about you and what other people think about what you do. And now you're just going to focus on doing things that you love with people that you love, creating and working in structures where people understand you and get you, people who are prepared to collaborate with you are welcome, people who are, who are, who are just going to turn up and make noise because they just don't understand it. You're just happy to say, well, look, you know, go away. You know, you're prepared to defend yourself. Whereas before, I think you would have taken on the burdens of other people's attitudes. And you're freeing yourself. You're saying, I'm not going to do that anymore. No more. I'm not going to I'm not going to be disappointed by life if I don't allow people to disappoint me. And I get disappointed by life because I hope and expect that people might get me, but I've now realized that I just need to remember that I need to get myself and I need to collaborate with people who want to sit within the structure that I have created for my life. I'm just going to get some extra on here. We've got the King of Swords. Yeah, you're really summoning up the courage to speak the truth about what you want and not take on not take on the burden of trying to please everybody. <laughs> Pisces, that's very Pisces energy. And we've got the King of Cups. Look at that. Look at that self-mastery. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. A lot of sense. Because you've been following your path. You've been you've been tuning into what you want. You've been trying to find your soul in the mirror. And for some of you, that means that you will find your soulmate. Or you will come into alignment in a deeper way with whoever you're already with. So we have got the King of Swords and the King of Cups are taking ownership of making sure that your ego is very, very, very much in alignment with keeping itself in balance, doing the things that you love, being creative, working with people that you love working with, not being disappointed when people 
don't get you or don't get your spiritual journey. And here on a soul level, you're prepared to speak your truth. You're prepared to actually voice what it is here with the Sicardia and the King of Swords. You're prepared to voice what it is that you know. You're not going to carry around the burden of understanding energy but not sharing that anymore. You're going to actually share that out into the world and experience the beauty of doing that and allowing other people to feel and experience the beauty of what it is like to work with energy, to actually experience it, to touch it, to feel it on the inside of you. Okay, and for some of you, that could mean a soulmate connection. Some of you it might even mean marriage. It's some, some of you, it could be that you are um, engaging in a relationship that you're already in, in a very, very, very different way, a very aligned way. Okay, we're just going to finish with a couple more from Archangel Michael. We have got, don't settle for less. You are a child of the divine and you deserve to have your dreams come true. Don't give up. Wow. And have no fear. Fear is a trap of the ego. Allow me to use my sword of light to free you from the disquieting feelings holding you back. Yeah, no more holding yourself back, Pisces. When you stop holding yourself back, you become the light that you're born to be for others and abundance is going to start flowing. Actually, a couple more charms. I just want a couple more charms down at the bottom here. Oh, we've got a turtle. It's been a long, old, slow journey, but you're flowing there. And here we have the swan. It's like the, the ugly duckling turns into the gliding, beautiful swan. Your star is rising. Absolutely beautiful. And Swans have strength and power and grace and Pegasus. Yeah, life's about to take off. The magic is about to take off. We had you speaking your truth yesterday. Your stars riding, your stars are aligned. Your stars are aligned in connection with other people if that's what you want. Have no fear, okay? Have no fear. Your purpose is absolutely ready to be grounded in this reality people are really wanting and ready to listen to you they want to hear the sound of your voice pisces they want to hear what you have to say they want to experience the emotional depths that you have to share the wisdom that you have to share they want to feel life again humans want to feel we our entire life experience is about feeling nobody chases money okay not there isn't a single person on this planet that chases something on the outside of them money is something on the outside of us it's something that we've created it's a made up iou note nobody chases physical things we chase the feelings that those physical things give us that's where the beauty of life comes in so even if you have a lot of money it's the feeling that money gives you that we're after okay that could be security it could be power it could be freedom for many people, they don't get it because they have the money and they don't feel the feelings, okay? So they just carry on being unhappy because they haven't learned to feel the feelings. Ground into reality how you feel about life. Ground into reality your capability, your sensuality, your emotions, your ability to relax, your ability to listen, your ability to listen to yourself, your ability to voice what you need. Ground that into reality and opportunities will come flowing for you, Pisces. And you're worth it. Don't settle for less. You're on in an incredible transformation and something's about to transform around your financial abundance because you're prepared to shine your light for other Pisces. Don't have any fear. It's all working. It's all coming into alignment for you. You're on your destined path. It's amazing. Okay. Take care. Bye.